While there have been a few film adaptations of H.P. Lovecraft's works, to varying degrees of success, none has excited fans more than the prospect of Guillermo del Toro's adaptation of At the Mountains of Madness. Based on the 1936 horror novella, the story features a group of explorers who discover an ancient alien city in Antarctica. The combination of atmospheric horror and scary monsters put this film right in del Toro's wheelhouse. In 2006, Guillermo del Toro teamed up with Matthew Robbins to work on a script. Del Toro and Robbins approached Warner Brothers with the script, but the studio had some apprehensions. Besides being expensive, del Toro wanted the movie to be rated R. The studio was not sure if this could work. News of the film wouldn't resurface again until 2010 when it was announced that James Cameron would join as co-producer, and Universal would produce the film in 3D. James McAvoy and Chris Pine were rumored for the lead role, though Tom Cruise was del Toro's top choice and was interested in the part. Still, the budget seemed too high for an R-rated horror movie, and the studio needed proof that it could work. They also insisted on a PG-13 rating in order to get a wider audience, but del Toro refused once again staying true to his vision of the film. As a result of his insistence, Universal refused to greenlight the movie. The final nail in the coffin for Mountain of Madness came in 2012, when Ridley Scott's Prometheus premiered in theaters. A resigned del Toro, who had been pushing for Fox to pick up his film, said the movies were too similar and would have had the same premise and themes. A scientific expedition discovering an ancient alien civilization and said ancient aliens creating human life Mountains of Madness would remain in development hell. Del Toro insists that he would like to make the movie, often teasing the prospect in interviews. With his slate of upcoming films including Pinocchio, Hellboy 3, and possibly a second Pacific Rim film, who knows when we might see Mountains of Madness on the big screen.